just like you. Batman. Hey guys, I hope you're hungry. Welcome back to Arkham City here on the Full Instance channel. My name is Jericho. So in the last episode, we made it here into the Sionis Steam Mill. I'm um, hot on the trail of the Joker. And in today's episode, we're going to try to rescue his doctor um, captive and confront the man himself who is holed up in the manager's office. So, Sionis is named after Roman Sionis. His parents opened, owned and operated the steel mill. He is, of course, um, Black Mask, which is an interesting, underused Batman villain. Um, so, basically, his character is more or less that um, just like a gangster. But, oh, okay, uh, before I talk about this, so these are these trophies I can't access right now, or the Catwoman one I can't because I'm Batman. So, you can scan it. And then, um, panel won't oh, and I can't do this one yet either. Um, so I can scan it and it stays in my map um, so that I can come back later um, like and remember where it is, which is a really, really, really nice feature. It really helps when you're trying for um, full completion in the game. So anyway, Black Mask is basically a gangster um, who murdered his own parents uh, <clears throat> for access to their money, so like a reverse, um, reverse Batman situation. Got that doorway covered. But, to find a different um, way to get past so there. he he carved their casket or um their casket into the mask that he wears and he calls his his thugs are like the faceless or something and they wear masks too so he has like a, a lot of like kind of stuff going on um like into like about identity and things like that but he's just sort of a cool character uh very underused um in movies and such so far and the only Arkham game that really did anything with him is Arkham Origins, and if you played that game, you know how that's not exactly what um, we were hoping for in terms of his characterization in that game, anyways. So we got only three guys in this room. Um, this is still a very, very um, recent, a uh, very, very, um, my first, ooh, um, predator section, but I actually already got hit. That guy, eyes in the back of his head. It's Batman. He's here. He's gonna get us, man. Nah. But whatever. Double take down and the room is clear. Um, so my messy job will not be remembered through history. I think this is new as well. Uh, double tapping to dive. So we can break, break back into um, here and head towards the smelting chamber. Now this room, I don't need to mess around with because we got six guys with guns and um, the doctor. Um, I mentioned, I think it was in the first episode, maybe the second, this knockout smash is a new move where you can instantly take out um, guards, but it makes noise um, so they'll know where you are. So it definitely has its uses. Like if you're going to get hit otherwise, you're probably better suited to take them out. Um, But I've got this way covered. He's here. Don't let him get in. You don't need to make you too much noise um, because it attracts everybody to you. I was mentioning in the last episode how much trouble I've had lately with um, <laughs> with not losing my train of thought. Uh, there's just a lot going on in this game. I think it doesn't matter. They know I'm here. So I have to be very sneaky and careful it's got to take these guys out, out anyway. Stay here. I'll go check it out. Batman's back! Oh, dang it! You in there? Got a present for you. Uh, don't throw bombs. No using guns. Okay. Take down? Okay. Boom! <laughs> I think his boo was better because he shot me right in the chest, but luckily I'm Batman and it takes off one little pellet of health. So I am not doing well. Like, I'm basically 0 for 2 with these rooms so far, but, um, whatever. Okay, so here is Dr. Stacey Baker, who has been press ganged into service by the Joker, so we can save her before, um... There's something in his blood, some kind of toxin. It's killing him. He blames something Before going after the Joker himself. Gosh, I am so sorry. I'm trying to... Okay, so the Titan... Titan is the formula from the last game that he used to make his supers 
and he took himself and is killing him now. And speaking of it, destroying the Titan canisters is one of our side quests with Bane that we started two episodes ago. You might have noticed um, in the last um, fight when I was using my detective mode, you could see a little ping in the background. And that's a Titan canister inside the steel mill that I have to destroy. Wait here, Doctor. What the hell are you doing? I need to get out of here. Messing around Someone with junk. Needs to stop Joker. So yes, so this is the, the, the device that this game overly relies on instead of the uh, explosive gel. Hide, I'll be back. This is the electronic gun, remote electrical charge. Um, so one thing I really appreciate about Arkham Knight is like, you can basically skip it. <laughs> like you don't get it until super late in the game. Um, there it is. Because you use it so often in here. It just, basically everything is electronic and with a nice um, electronic charge. They can, be, doors open and close. Riddler trophies get responded to. It's basically the the explosive gel or the uh, the Batmobile of this game. I should head back to the loading bay. It's the only route to joke. I know, man, but I'm getting these trophies. They'll be happy later. Okay. R1 is up. Door is open. And then we will rinse and repeat that a billion times throughout the course of this game. And I don't like it very much at all. I think it's a very um, artless solution. And I don't know why, like, they thought it was cool. Like, I mean, it's not like it's... Like stupid or the worst thing ever, but it's not like a Batman thing. It's just a thing they decided to do. Um, so I don't like it very much at all. But I mean, whatever. It's not my choice. So yeah, there are guys waiting outside the door that they just um, welded shut because, and they're very suspicious about the Batman. I don't like this any more than you do. We got one chance. It's that we all jump in together. No. Oh. I never really use that quick fire electrical charge either. I mean, I guess that's pretty good. It's like a ranged cape stun, and the cape is very effective as well. As you can see there. And now that I have this, I can destroy these, which I think is an objective just like the um, the balloons is. It's also good, pretty good for shooting balloons. I mean, like, it has its uses, but it is, in contrast to um, some of the other moves I've been talking about, very, very video gamey and not very Batman-y. Okay, so here, this is a magnet. So if we supercharge the magnet, it'll move these cars so that they're out of my way. Um, leaving this open, which will lead to a Riddler trophy. I'm almost positive. Eh, in we go. Um, thank you guys so much, uh, by the way, for the support on the series so far. I'm really excited to be moving into this game, and I know that, like, doing this straight after Arkham Asylum, like, maybe it wasn't everybody's cup of tea, and I really will do Bioshock eventually. I have no plans at all to do Arkham Knight right away. I've played it more recently, so I'm less excited to go back through it as I have been with these other two. Um... Not nothing to fault Arkham Knight, just just how I'm feeling, um, and I think everybody will want a little bit of a break from the Batman games when I'm done with this one. So no fears about that, but I do appreciate um, you know everybody still being supportive and happy about my decision to just go ahead and play through this because I'm having fun so far. So free flow focus, um, you get faster once you have twelve. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. That's a really good uh, pickup as well. But I need to start to get um, some of these armors very soon because some of this combat's going to start to get a little bit tricky. And I would rather not um, have some unnecessary losses. So yeah, destroying Harley heads is definitely something we're going to need to worry about going forward. I haven't missed the, uh, the Titan canister, by the way. You have to come back here several times throughout the course of this game. I don't even think it's accessible right now. Okay, so this, the doctor is safe. How did you get out of the smelting chamber, B-Man? What did you build? Tell me. Tell How do you know I built something? I guess she has a camera to watch um, the guys. Okay, but anyway, so we got this big hook here. We got an electromagnet here. 
does not take the world's greatest detective to, to figure out how uh, to deal with this situation. But this is actually going to be a really good, um, like, this episode, because there's, like, a pretty long cut scene, and we're going to learn a lot of story beats. So, yeah, we can pull it forward, and then all of a sudden, reverse the polarity. I think we have to do it a couple of times. There we go. What's Smashes it open. But then, oh no! So yeah, this is one of the two Abramovich brothers. Um, we got Mr. Hammer. I can't remember what the other one is named. Dang it. So yeah, that free flow focus that we just got is already coming in handy. Um, if you have more than 12 hits on your combo, um, <clears throat> you become way faster. And that's when the uh, numbers start to turn red. And when you're doing these, um, you need a band -aid? Band -aid. these big, um, the beat down, you build it up super quickly, uh, which is another good strategy for the combat. Dang it, dang it. Okay, I just need to not attack him a lot. Gosh, he can take a beating. Hold still while I pound your face into the dirt. There we go. Okay, that was almost getting rough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need that armor. <laughs> okay, so Abramovich is down. And now we can finally pursue Joker. But maybe we were too late. You! Get out of my way, Queen. She really is sad. Just leave me with him. I said move! Yeah, see, this is a little bit gross. This is still a girl. Fault. Slinging him around. Him for years. Beat him to a pulp. And so what? Why are you so mean? I mean... Surprise! Ah, gets him every time. The old fake Joker gag. You fell for the old fake Joker gag. Joker can't possibly be dead. That must be a really strong cowl, because, like, that would kill a person. Like, their skull would just smash. But what do I know about skulls, smashers, and bats? Bats? Sounds like the detective oh, so actually, yes, the detective will be busy with Joker for a while, so we're actually going to do a little Catwoman segment. So this will be an interesting thing to finish out our episode so with. So what next? Help tall, brooding, and handsome? Or help myself to all the loot Professor Strange has locked up in that vault of his? I know. Typical choice, right? Hmm. What will it be? Find Croc and have him rip a hole into the vault? As penguin I think I remember what you have to do in this not one. My style. I always prefer a woman's touch in these situations. Baudelaire, like the Baudelaire are, orphans? I'm coming to get you. So this is the first time we have um, open world control of Catwoman. And she moves around no very similar to Batman. I'd be naked um, but instead of... Um, Grappling, she pounces, and if you time the jumps well, you get point points, I guess. So anyway, first things first, we have to um, retrieve um, her equipment from her office. And luckily, she has a, 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 a sort of detective vision as well. It doesn't do the same things as, as Batman's, and is in many ways less effective, but... Um, Still comes in handy with a lot of the stuff she's expected to do. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely gonna have to be Batman to solve that. And I actually know the perfect tool for the job, so we will hang off on that one. Batman cannot t pick up Catwoman trophies, but I think Catwoman can pick up Batman ones. I actually am not sure though. Um, I could easily be wrong on that. I'm sure we'll have an opportunity to test it before too long. 
So I mentioned um, in the first episode, I don't really like the Catwoman stuff, like almost to the point where I might have, I might have like played without them if I could have. I don't, I don't know if that's really how I feel if I'm that negative on it. But I don't like this pouncing mechanic, like for points. Like, what does it mean? And it doesn't matter. Like, it makes you a bit faster, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's um, because Catwoman left them hanging over that acid tank. Really? But anyways, yeah. um, she is a lot of fun in combat. I like how fast she is. Um, especially when you have the free fo focus going, she is by far the fastest um, we've seen in any combat situation in these games. Um, and it is nice for you know something different. And it's cool to play as somebody else, like, in, in their main story um, focus like this. But, I don't know, just not super into it. So, yeah, Thief Vision. We'll see little Mike and Cats. Good to be home. Where else could it be? That's pretty easy for her to open that window, though, right? You're telling me none of these thugs could have figured that out? So, we now we have her weapons. We got some Caltrops, which are, like, basically really, really sharp jacks. And her bolas, which she can um, trip people up with. Okay, Selena, time to find Ivy. Let's hope she's forgiven me. Of course she has. She wouldn't hold a grudge. I don't know what she may or may not have forgiven her for, um, because it certainly wasn't in the events of the last game. Because Catwoman uh, is not in the last game at all, so don't know exactly what that's referencing. I think I just saw a purple. Yeah, so there's a Catwoman trophy. A Catwoman Riddler trophy instead of a Batman Riddler trophy, I guess. <laughs> Catwoman's here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catwoman. I I usually avoid combat as Batman because there, there's there's plenty of unavoidable com, um, combat um, to fill up the videos, <laughs> to fill up the gameplay, so I don't feel the need um, to do it. But especially as Catwoman, because you, well, you are quite what do we have fragile. Here? Um, Weird out of place plants, check. Mindless hypnotized henchmen, check. The oh so, so it's quite easily to get in big trouble. Pumpkins, check. Looks like I found the entrance to Ivy's lair. So yeah, um, the the stealth stuff works a lot like Batman, um, again, but except for again, you don't have nearly the health, so you have to be very very careful. Um, all it takes is getting seen once, sometimes, as I immediately mess it up um, to really be in trouble. And I think I have to take out everybody. With only three guys, I think I can probably just win this fight, though, honestly. Yeah, so whatever. <laughs> Again, I'm playing really, really sloppy and fast and loose, and that's not going to last me for forever. But um, for now, uh, it'll have to do. Hey. I do like walking around on the ceilings and stuff um, as Catwoman. It's quite fun. And I think maybe the segment is done there, and then the actual encounter with Poison Ivy is in the next one, but I could be wrong. Because there's only like five Catwoman segments, Hello. if that. Ivy. So I think you they're, they're all quite short. Come here. No, she is so mad. Oh, come on. I really like You're that Poison Ivy has uh, a, a, a decent presence in all three games. Um, none as big as in the first one. And Batman out. doesn't encounter Poison oh, Ivy at all, I don't ones? think. But I know a place that... yeah, still pretty cool. See, either she grabs... Ivy grabs Catwoman right oh, now. Red? No, okay, I guess we, we are just... doing this. So basically, we have a boss fight now. Um, you have oh, to fight Poison fight. Ivy as Catwoman. It's nothing like the Batman fight. It's way easier. It's mostly just um, waves of um, bad guys, if I remember correctly. Hey, Pammy, here's an idea. If you want a boyfriend, how about trying the dating route? One thing that's useful is uh, Catwoman's up. I mean, Batman's upgrades that pertain to Catwoman as well. So we have um, combo finishers and stuff. Oh, dang it. I thought we did. Um, the moves are different um, in their execution. Well, I would say the same in their execution, but they look different. Okay, I need to stop going for these ground finishers. Because Catwoman is actually slower with that um, than Batman is. 
So yeah, we just go up floor by floor until we actually encounter Ivy, and then we can wrap things up. I've spent weeks perfecting the toxins that will destroy your pathetic meat sack of a body. What am I doing? I, maybe maybe she doesn't earn the the uh, combo up on her own. Because I'm hitting it right. Okay, no, that was a finisher. Okay. Dang it. I fancy myself as being decent at Arkham Combat. I just played through the original game. But I am not doing well at all. That was my own fault. I think there's only three or four floors though, so I should still probably be okay. And I think we get a I bit of uh, health back um, between them. Yeah, we're all back up to full. Yeah, and here she is. This is the last one. She's consistent. I'll give her that. Let me actually check out um, her moves and see what's going on with that. Special combo whiplash. Whip trip. Okay, I do have you to. You can't outrun that. nature, Selena. My spores will fill your lungs and kill you from within. Oh, the dang spore! Come on. I was about to say. Okay, that's more like a twenty-three combo. There's actually not a whole lot you can do about the um, the spores flying at you, if I remember correctly. Except for try to get out of the way. Yeah, that's the end of it, I'm pretty sure. Arkham City Sirens. It's a reference to Gotham City oh, Sirens, which is a comic book about help. the wonderful lassies. Not again. <clears throat> You've got some nerve, Selena. So yeah, that's the end of Catwoman segment two. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's, 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 there's just don't really add a lot. That's is my biggest Get problem. Back friend. here, Harley. And I want to know who he is, sweetie. No one's who you think they are, my dear. Why spoil the fun? So you can see Harley's outfit from the last game over on the wall. There's nothing wrong with you. No, that's nice not quite true. <laughs> but you of all people should know, there's plenty wrong with me. Take my blood, for example. I wish somebody would. This stuff is killing me. Why should I care? <laughs> oh, you already now, know you do. There's a teeny little bit of me in you, too. Bats. Oh, come on. A bit, a bit, a bit gross. <laughs> Don't tell me it's not what you've always wanted. Look, we're running out of time. I need your help. I nearly had a cure. It was so I wonder if Joker was developing it himself. It taken from no, 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 that's not true. He was having so Freeze work on it, and then I'm fine with that. Penguin uh, stole yeah. it, I'm pretty sure. Imagine sucking down that last breath knowing that Gotham is doing the same. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, didn't I say? I don't remember that effect on his um, right eye in the original game. That's a, a cool to make him look even worse. City. So that's Protocol 10. Poison Gotham. I expected more. Protocol 10? <laughs> Never heard of it. You haven't heard Strange talking? Uh, yeah. How do you touch? This probably could have killed him. Then what are you gonna do? <laughs> then you're you're just as dead. So yeah, that's why Batman has to cure everybody. If it was just Joker, I mean he maybe you would. If it was just Joker and Batman, he said, We'll both die. I'm fine with that. But now, tons of people around Gotham have been poisoned as well um, by Joker donating his blood. So yeah, that's the trouble. I'm listening. Is someone feeling a little down? And now we can what FaceTime with Joker. Oh, Bat, cheer up. It won't kill you. Oops. <laughs> that's like a too Where's soon. Where's the cure? <laughs> Who has it? I had our cold-hearted friend Mr. Freeze making it. Me. I'll find him. I bet you. <laughs> I'm gonna break it, but I'm still gonna keep the little chip. I mean, might as well keep in touch. What am I gonna do? 
Alfred, Joker's poisoned me. He may have poisoned Gotham, too. Mr. Freeze has the only cure. What are you waiting for, then? He's in Arkham City. Find him. If only it was that simple. He'll be somewhere cold. He needs to be kept at sub-zero temperatures I to mean, survive. Find, I mean, it is as simple as finding him. You, but it is the middle of winter out there. I noticed. I've calibrated the cowl to track heat signatures. I'll find the coldest point in Arkham City. So yeah, just like tracking the radio signal, now we are tracking uh, heat signatures. So we're going to find the very coldest point, because that's where Mr. Freeze surely is. And we will begin our search for him in the next episode. We have now embarked on basically the main objective of the game, other than stopping Protocol 10, is finding this cure. So I hope you're along for the ride. We have new episodes of Arkham City every Monday and Friday, but make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of it. And we have content coming to you every single day here on the Fullison's channel. My name is Jericho, and I'll see you there. I don't know about you, but I'm full.